stay. Yay, it's recording. <gasps> Yay, <laughs> we did it. So this video idea, it's for the viewers. You don't have to pay attention right now. I know. <laughs> so this video idea, totally original, not at all just <laughs> stolen from the cinema snob and what he does with his friends. And they're much more entertaining, I'm sure. But we have Sonic, so we're special. Yep. We're so unique and wonderful. Not and sponsored. <laughs> yes, Sonic, if someone from Sonic sees this, please give me your money. <laughs> but Amber here, oh, I'm sorry, did you want me to edit your name out? No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make it up to you. We'll do a, a shameless promo of your of your Instagram art account. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so in, Amber is an Instagram artist. Oh. Uh, b before we get too far into it, this is a Godzilla review, I promise, but we're talking about Sonic and Instagram first. So Amber here is an Instagram artist. Take it away. My username is storytime underscore illustrations. So all one word, all lowercase. It's a... I thought there were some letters in there, or numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, you won't find my actual name, my, my name on there is story... Storyteller25, so, oh. yeah. Amber's a secret name, so if you're coming from here, you will actually know my name. Good job. Oh, oh no. I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> no, it's That fine. takes effort. <laughs> Why'd you do this to me? You can know my name. It's fine. Okay. All right. Consider it a sneak peek. Someone who's watching this will actually know my name. Yeah. Just Got wait. Oh, awesome. you just wait. You're gonna have Instagram stalkers in no time. <laughs> so that's that's how you know you're really famous. Oh yeah. You so gotta you get stalkers. Oh yeah. So you never had Sonic slushies before? Nope. You pretty good though. Freak. How does it? How does it? How is it though? It is good. Oh, I knew it. You're not a freak anymore. <laughs> that's good. You've had the tater tots? Uh, not with cheese. Oh, it's halfway decent. <laughs> Only halfway. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I don't well, think I mean, Sonic's gonna give you any sponsors if now. Oh shit! <laughs> well, I mean, you can tell they just put. Uh, I mean, to me, it looks like they just put like a cheese single on it sometimes. <laughs> I mean, does that look like that to you? Uh, not quite. No? It looks like a sing craft single mixed with a little bit of Velveeta. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes quite. like sometimes I get the tots and they look like they just made the tots, put them in there, and then put a couple of cheese singles on there, and then. Put them in a microwave, but these. This is good. I think you can tell when you can when you can't clearly see the 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 the, the squares of cheese. That's <laughs> when they're good tots. And ah, they didn't give us salt. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. Zero yeah. stars. I'm just kidding. Sponsor me. <laughs> ten, ten stars. I love it. Oh yeah. I love cheese. I love potatoes. <laughs> oh yeah. Twenty stars. All the stars. <laughs> just give me your money. <laughs> I will sell out. Like nobody's business. Mm, I probably would do. I need money. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. mm. Oh, that's good. So, we just saw God Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> uh, well, the American version is Godzilla, but in the old in the Eastern language, it's Godzilla. <laughs> you get the joke. Yeah. Okay. Good. Hmm. <laughs> so. What do you think? How was it? I, Quite a spectacle, I must say. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I really loved the different designs for like the different, um, I guess, titans. No. Yeah. yeah. And that's what they called them in the movie. Yeah. I mean, I think in IRL they're more colloquially known as kaiju, kaiju. which is just—it's not just Japanese for monster. Not even yeah. big monster or giant monster or titans, just I'm Japanese sorry. for monster. Which is funny. Definitely monsters. Uh huh. What? Which one was your favorite? Out um, of the, all, of, all the designs. G Ghidorah. Ghidorah. King Ghidorah. Oh yeah, he looked mm. awesome. He was. Oh, very so big. many shots of him that were just like designed to make him look big and bad and beautiful. Are we doing a spoiler warning on this? Oh. Okay. Spoiler warning! Spoilers. There's gonna be spoilers because I don't want to leave anything out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So. Um. Mothra. Mothra. Mothra was my favorite. Really? I oh yeah. Loved. Yeah. Mothra. The, the, the noises that went with her are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like 
the other monsters are all like scary and intimidating. Like, oh, and she was and like, she's, yeah, she gave off like a very like. Best sort of like a siren call. Siren, like motherly call. Well, like I don't like it. Yeah. Well, it just like sounded kind of like sweet and motherly. Well, they called her the mother of monsters. The queen. She was queen. the queen, queen of, of monsters. monsters. I thought they called what? her mother. No, she is the queen to Godzilla's king. Oh no. They even made a joke about them getting it on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of the comic, some of the uh, comedy in that movie was a. Uh, it was like, you know, your break up the intensity kind of comedy, and it was mm. fine. But, like, some of it was just, like, that was a little out of place. I don't know. I was thinking it, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, uh... Mm. I thought the movie started out pretty well, actually. is uh, very, uh... It gives you a little, the little flashback mm. to the first one, which was great, because I do not remember that at all. I remember bits and pieces. Yeah. Remember the part on the bridge where they're like trying to get the train across the bridge in the mountains? Mm. And the, um, oh, what's he called? The main, uh, titan from the... Godzilla? Not, not Godzilla, the other one from the first movie. What was he called? He made a appearance in this one, remember? Uh, Rodan? Mm. That's a, a Mothra? Oh. King Kong? What? Not, not King Kong, it was the... Bug one, the oh that one I don't know I honestly don't know I, I feel like that anyone who's actually watching this you can just look it up you know what I'm talking about I don't know. <laughs> comment what is that thing's name <laughs> yeah I so, do not know anyways uh that's one of the main parts that I remember from the first one is yeah. whenever they're trying to cross the bridge and he like comes in the scene and like it's like all dark and everything and very uh -huh. creepy oh yeah very cool and he of course destroys the bridge of course. <laughs> Was it the Golden Gate Bridge? Mm -mm. Oh. It was just a train bridge that was oh. over some mountains. Well, they, were, they were coming out of a tunnel. I think it's like a default rule. Anything larger than a... To any movie where building where a, where any building comes down, the Golden Gate Bridge will somehow be destroyed. <laughs> I don't care if it is... The Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty is another one. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> second fiddle to Golden Gate Bridge. Mm, probably, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't care if your thing, if your movie, if your monster movie is set in Europe, the Golden Gate Bridge will somehow fall down. <laughs> just you attack Tokyo and it just collapses. Yep. Just oh, I guess there was an earthquake or something. It's just it's just gonna fall. <laughs> we just we just got to destroy it and rebuild it because I mean something's happening somewhere in the world. <laughs> yep. There you go. Fun fact: Did you know that the Golden Gate Bridge is so long, but but by the time they get done painting it, they have to start at the other end. And, and keep painting it. Over again. I knew that, yeah. Oh, yeah? I've heard <laughs> that already. I've heard it before. I like telling people that. I don't know why. It's just a fun <laughs> just fact. A fun fact. You know. Fun fact of the day. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but, uh. I thought. I, I get that, uh, historically, Godzilla has all. In uh, his little universe of monsters, has always been uh, very en environmentally focused. Mm. You know? Yeah. I just thought it was very heavy handed. In this one, well, I kind of like the change. I mean, the idea that the radiation coming off of them sprouts excessive growth of plants. Yeah, that was that was interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought it was funny at the end, where it's like, as soon as King Ghidorah is beaten, spoiler. <laughs> who knew Godzilla would win in a Godzilla movie? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But I thought it was funny how at the the end credits. If the the end credits consisted of either uh, stock footage of monster of big animals doing weird things, or headline or in universe monsterverse headlines of how amazing everything is now that we're all like, hey, monsters are cool. It's like, oh, there's a rainforest growing in sat in freaking uh, in the uh, what's that big desert. Sahara. Sahara. Yeah, like Sahara a, now has a rainforest. Because and why not? Several extinct animals were coming back. Because that's definitely how genetics works. <laughs> yeah. Well, it might have been extinct or instinct or endangered. I'm not sure, but regardless, world's great now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that was kind of funny. I mean, it's like Earth is completely destroyed, and I love how it's like every footage that they showed of um, where the Titans were attacking mm -hmm. giant cities. 
every single yeah. time. There was nothing that wasn't a giant city. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> unless they were all freaking future seers and you're like, you know what, I'm going to take a nap right here. Mm. And in a billion years when I get woken up, there's going to be a city here and I'm just going to have a blast. Well, no, that's the thing, okay? They weren't all, like, originally located. Because one of them was in a desert, like Arizona or something like that. They weren't all originally located in cities. They just ended up attacking the cities. Well, no, it makes it's sense. just movie logic that if you're going to have a giant monster attacking something, mm -hmm. it's going to be a main city. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh... Movie logic. Oh, of course. Yeah. Speaking of, product placement. Oh. Thank you, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> I mean, I know that movie's got a product place. I know. But this one was just so, like... So obvious. Like, it was like... It was obvious, but at the same time, it was just like a throwaway. Giant like, Dunkin' Donut billboard that just gets smashed. Yeah. It was like, it was there, like, in the, like, almost in the corner of the screen. It's like, oh, hey, by the way, Dunkin' Donuts sponsors this d destruction. And then... <laughs> uh, I learned about great. product placement in, like... Middle school, I think, and I have noticed yeah. so many things in movies since then. Oh my gosh! Did you see the product placement in the, Super in the Superman movie? I haven't seen that one. Oh well. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, freaking uh, ev everything is product placement <laughs> in that movie. There's especially during the like the fight. It's like they, the the uh, Zod is like throwing is like specifically throwing Superman billboards or something it's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, King of Monsters mm. fun fun movie very good movie I thought I was a little irked at times Why? during the big fight especially at the end because mm. it I felt like it cut too much like away from the giant monsters fighting into the people where that the giant monsters were fighting around. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the action's up here, but the camera's down here. I was a little annoyed at that. Yeah, but I think that's how most of those type of movies go, like yeah. uh, Transformers. Yeah. And uh, what's another big one? It's just, it's the small things that people can relate to. I know. That's, that they're trying mm, to get across. That's how movies gotta be, I mean. Not very many people can relate to a giant fire-breathing lizard. <laughs> yeah. And if you can, there's something wrong with that picture. <laughs> can you relate? Comment down below. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, but no, like the whole family thing is definitely like, yeah. I would say the secondary main point is them trying to fix their home life. Uh, I don't know. I feel like that was like the third point of this movie. Like the, the, I, I, well, the I see it as the environmental message. Uh, I feel like there were like three layers to this. It was mm -hmm. uh, monsters fighting, environmental message, and then family drama. Family drama. <laughs> that was, I mean, it wasn't mm -hmm. even in there to, like, I felt like the family drama was just like, it wasn't even there to add anything. It was just there to make it more relatable mm. like if and that's no i was gonna say that's fine but that's not really fine because like if 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 it, if it doesn't have a place in the story then don't, well, i wouldn't put it I, there i think it does though because like this main family are the ones pretty much pulling the strings the dad knows all about the um the alpha and stuff the mom is the technological technology genius and the girl is the one who pretty much the girl like, is from fixes Stran everything oh. and the girl <laughs> is from stranger things <laughs> yes. i don't that remember her name what is her name e or v or e or five v? i think 11 11 no i meant the 11. actual no the actress's oh, name <laughs> no <laughs> the actress's we don't care name. about that <laughs> i do <laughs> <laughs> but no, Eleven is great. I love Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The new season. This 4th of July. Yes. And is it really coming out this 4th of July? You didn't know. I've been busy. You didn't know about <laughs> no, Stranger I Things. No, I didn't. Oh, I, no. I'm I watching the trailer I later. haven't seen any commercials. <laughs> I'm online all the time, and I haven't seen any commercials. I don't know why. Uh, but no. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 
ending and possible sequel. Oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna sequel this into the ground. Oh, so I mean they'll be fun, but like I don't want it to turn into Transformers. Well, maybe not Transformers, but I mean like if you do a good job, like there's like a lot of lore around the Titans as far as like comics and stuff or whatever. Oh I yeah. Guess. But if you do it right, you can get a really good long series going. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. But <laughs> so you already told me this, but. Anyone who didn't actually stay to watch the credits, uh, King Kong versus Godzilla is oh, pretty no. much the. I think that was actually announced already. So, for those who don't know, oh. regardless, you, you said that you would vote for Godzilla. Oh, yeah. I mean, King Kong's cool and all, but Godzilla's Godzilla. Yeah, but King Kong is amazing. Not nearly as many fun movies. <laughs> King, Kong, King Kong is still amazing. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, I, I I saw the one with the I think it had Jack Black in it. I didn't. Yeah. I, but uh, that was was that one. the recent? Was that the most recent one? Um, it was called Skull Island or something. Or no, I think that was just like the first. Uh, it was the one with Samuel Jackson in it. I didn't see that one. I'm not sure. That's the. I think that's the one they're using for this monster verse. Yeah, I need to go back and rewatch them, but I've yeah. I've seen them, but yeah, uh, really good. But I am a bit torn on which one to really? vote for, because like, let's face it, you don't want to see either of them die. No, that, I mean, I don't think they will. I think what's gonna happen is they're going to get in a fight for the first three half or three fourths of the movie. <laughs> no, what's gonna happen? T Rex is, is gonna come back. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park, there you go. Oh my gosh. Mix them all together. Oh my gosh. The freaking T-Rex logic at the end of there. That was great. When oh, the freaking Don't move. They revived Godzilla and then they're just standing there like Don't move. Nobody move. I don't think they were actually trying to not let him see them. I know. But it was but so yeah. funny. It's like, dude, you watch way too much Jurassic Park. I mean, you can't, but you do. <laughs> Uh, so, what was your thought on Kidora? Kidora? Kidora. King um, Ghidorah. King Ghidorah. What was your thoughts on him being an alien? I thought I think he are, I think he was canonically. I know, but what are your thoughts on that? Like how? Like I think you can go like so far with that because. Oh yeah, there's like, all kinds of mo movies where uh, th where they go up in space and stuff. Yeah. There's even uh, other. Uh, I remember. Uh, no, this was a uh, Gamera. Oh my god, I want to see Gamera so bad in a movie. <laughs> just freaking giant monster turtle friend to children. Oh my god. <laughs> no, seriously, like, like, uh, there's always, like, a child, a small ch child. I think Gamera is, like, the Chinese version of Godzilla, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if he's from, if he was, uh, from, uh, China, from China or Japan, but there's always a small child that, that Gamera is protecting, or a group Aww. of them, and it's hilarious. But... The funniest thing that I really want to see with modern technology is what he does is he sticks his arms and head into his shell <laughs> and then shoots his, 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 his radioactive blast out of all the holes and he spins to fly. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fire rocket. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> he, he's, a, he's a giant monster firework. <laughs> And I want to see it so bad. That does sound fun. Somebody make that happen. <laughs> Do it. I would love to see that. That oh would be gosh. amazing. Gamera. So funny. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, they, no. they, they've been to space a couple of times in yeah. the movies. I, I know at least Gamera has. But I think Godzilla's been there once or twice when they went to... Uh, uh, ba they went to an alien war... No, wait. I think it was Godzilla, though, but they went to an alien world where this uh, alien race was, um, I don't remember if they were being attacked by a monster or if they were using a monster to trap Godzilla or something, but <laughs> um, this monster, but there was this monster that came out that essentially, it was like a, uh, what are those dogs with the flat, ugly faces that walk like, uh, pit bull? Pit bull? Maybe. Is it a pit bull? Maybe. It, it, but this thing looked like a like a if a if a pit bull body had was a lizard, 
and it had a giant, and its face, and its head or face was a giant knife. So, swordfish, pitbull, komodo dragon. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they got it's in a, a fight, and that was very, fun. Very interesting. Yeah. Right yeah, there. you know what I want. You know what I want to see more than um, anything, more than Gamera. I want to see some of the old, like back when they were in the rubber suit days oh. of Godzilla, with the kind of fights that they had. I mean, they were corny and all that, but there were some times where Godzilla just straight went straight WWE on these monsters. <laughs> It was like cartoonish almost, and I want to see that recreated. I just want to see Godzilla just choke slam somebody. Uh, that's... Boom! Well, oh, that god. would be that would be fun. Oh god, that was brilliant. Mm. Oh my god, the timer says twenty minutes already. <laughs> I I thought we might get ten minutes out of this if we were lucky. This is a good format. This is a good format. You like to talk. <laughs> I do. I have a big mouth, which is funny because I, I mean, usually I'm a very quiet person. Mm, extremely. <laughs> you said it so sarcastically. Yep. <laughs> am I not a quiet person? Mm, depends. I think usually I am. Depends on who you're around. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> so, <clears throat> what were some other points about the movie? Anything like? I like the part where the girl screamed at um, Edora. Oh. Like. Like. Oh. Yeah, she bring it. She basically <laughs> just yelled him down, and it was amazing. Yeah, and then of course, uh, like, of course, it didn't work. So Godzilla comes in. And well, still, but like the fact that it's like everyone is terrified, and this girl has the guts to try and go toe to toe with these monsters. I think it was more like a death cry. <laughs> yeah, but still. Unless she wanted to use her psychic powers. <laughs> She's not 11. <laughs> she, will, she will always be 11. <laughs> mm -hmm. Until she, and, and for the next five years, or however long it takes her to grow up, I don't know, until she hits like 20, she'll, she'll be 11. <laughs> Actors and actresses always seem to have that one series where they are just known. Oh, yeah. So even if someone doesn't know the actor or actress, mm -hmm. they know the character. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think like uh, Jack Sparrow. Oh yeah, <laughs> everyone knows. Uh, everyone knows Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I think people know Keanu Reeves for two now: Matrix and mm. uh, John Wick. Oh my gosh, mm. I still need. I, I I need to see uh the f second one and the uh, third one. John Wick. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. John Wick. John fucking Wick. I haven't seen them. They're amazing. <laughs> like that's a fighting. That's fighting. Uh, action scenes done right. <laughs> like uh, nowadays, action scenes are so many cuts that you can hardly tell what's going on. But John Wick is like is very few cuts, very awesome action. You can actually tell what's going on. It's amazing. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons I love those old kung fu movies. That, that shit's practically like one take. Well, not really, but like it, it's. <laughs> It's, uh, you actually see the fight. You don't just see, like, a close-up of a fist and, like, oh, somebody got punched. I don't know who. <laughs> it's probably one of the guys I'm... I don't know what's going on. Casper. Casper got hit. <laughs> just a ghost. Yeah, there you go. Just a ghost. Somebody got punched. Anyway. But, uh... Oh, you know... Are you done? You got anything else to say? I, I got one more thing to say. I was I'm dissatisfied with the with the killing blow. Uh why? Because okay, the, I I enjoyed the the freaking Super Saiyan Godzilla thing. <laughs> he goes and gets like the red like looks fire. like a it looks fire. Like fire it looks like a, it, it looks like a like a lava body kind of thing almost. Or it's like all it's, the cracks are yeah, full of like, the, glowing lava. Pretty yeah. Much. It's like super radiation energy. And he does this like big AOE pulse attack <laughs> and essentially fries uh, Ghidorah. But, and I gotta say, and uh, and then he like puts him, like the yeah. head is in his mouth and he then like- eats him. And yeah, <laughs> and then like when Ghidorah's still living head is in his mouth, then he oh, blasts it. And yes, like that's very human, like- Human whoa. cannonball style. Yeah, it's like, it's very, <laughs> I, I'll admit, it was very, whoa. But here's what I would have liked to see. Hmm. I would have liked to see Godzilla do the boom one pulse, 
one radiation pulse. He did like two or three. And mm -hmm. after the first one, that should have been it. And then he should have, uh, and then just, uh, cause, and then get right up and just point blank. <laughs> because my thing is, the pulse is cool and the eating them very cool and all that. But Godzilla's trademark is his laser br breath. Yeah. And to not use that as a finishing move is like Goku not using <laughs> the Kamehameha wave because he j could just punch them. I mean, of course you could just punch them, you're fucking Goku. But the, you use the freaking Kamehameha wave because that's what the because that's your signature move, you know? It's like Goku without the Kamehameha wave or Superman without the heat vision. Come on. I'm kind of thinking that it's like... Didn't he do that in the first movie, though? Uh, I believe so. I think that's probably why they changed it. Mm. I mean, like, if you're watching, like, three, four movies, depending on how many they're going to make, yeah. you don't want to see the finishing movie mm, be exactly yeah. the same every yeah. time it gets killed. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. And, I mean, the first wave didn't actually kill him, so... It's like yeah. that just destroyed his wings. Yeah. Second one killed two of the heads, yeah. and then he destroyed his body by pressing into him and doing another one, and then bit the last head. Yeah. And yet, I there's see your point. still another head. To eat. To, yep. Well, no, not to eat. I mean, like at the end credits. Anyone who didn't stay for those. Oh, yeah. There is still an intact head. Sequel bait! Woo! <laughs> I just want them to somehow make it a uh, Mecha Godzilla. But here's the thing, Ooh. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna do a Mecha Godzilla because <laughs> I'd be surprised. I mean, I can see them doing it because it's a trademark thing. Everyone loves a good Mecha Godzilla. But the thing mm. is that, despite it being giant monsters and everything, it's still loosely based in our reality. And y mm -hmm. yes, you can build giant bunkers and stuff like they do in the movie, and you can have your underwater bases, but a giant robot dinosaur... A bit it, far -fetched. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit... It, it doesn't feel like it would fit in the world that they established. Yeah, I don't see. I mean, they're very... They're, like you said, pretty strict about the whole, um, like... Um, environmental message yeah so mechanizing the one thing that builds makes trees yeah kind of defeats the point yeah which would actually probably still be a pretty good uh, direction to go if you wanted the bad guys to have the mech yeah. fighting Godzilla yep, yep, yep. that would be a good point yeah it's like literally uh, man versus nature type thing oh yeah oh yeah so, final verdict. Ten Fight. out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> well, I mean, a little bit more than that. I mean, it was really good. I loved it. All right. Love the music. Love the soundtrack. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Fantastic lots of, lots of trumpets and the. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> did a lot of like, whenever I was showing Godzilla, I did a lot of like, uh, kind of like native chanting type thing. Yeah. Like made me think of a uh, Hawaiian like battle chant type thing. Yeah. Like, this was really good. <laughs> oh, quite interesting, yes. Yeah. Uh, I liked it. It was quite a spectacle. Mm -hmm. I'll give it that. I mean, I didn't go to this expecting a, an amazing story or anything, you know. And it was a, it was a good story, you know. There was lots of a there was, there was a beginning, a middle, and an end. I'll give it that, you know. <laughs> but I mean, there was nothing wrong with the story. Uh, I thought the family drama was a bit more present than it needed to be. But uh, it was a spectacle. That's what I was going to there for, you know? It's like, uh, when I went to see Jurassic Park, the, uh... You know, for the visuals, not yeah, necessarily the I mean, like, story. Yeah, I, when I went there, I'm like, I, got, I, I couldn't care less about the people. I just wanted to see dinosaurs. <laughs> that was me. I was like a little kid in a candy store. <gasps> Dinosaur! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> They're running so fast! <laughs> ah, I want one! <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Mm. Right. So, that was a great movie. Really good. Alright. Uh, next week, maybe we'll see Spider-Man. <gasps> Spider-Man! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! I'm excited for that one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to kidnap you and drag you to this one. <laughs> you didn't drag me. No. <laughs> 
I just wasn't as excited because I didn't really think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have high hopes for movies. <laughs> no. Not until no. after I watch them, then I love them. Oh, oh. Well, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. <laughs> we did. You get. We got your promo out of the way. Did we do yeah, that? Yeah, we, we did, did at the beginning. Okay, great. Well, well, look forward to the next video whenever that comes out. Pro hopefully next week. I don't okay. know. We'll see what happens. Bye. Bye.